If you guys want the best and most reliable Ultimate Team coin source, make sure you guys go check out FIFAUTCoinStore.com for all your Ultimate Team coin needs. All the links will be in the description below, so make sure you guys go check them out if you guys are interested in purchasing any coins. Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another episode of Underrated Nations today. And as you guys can see, we are going to be building an Israeli squad. So an all-Israel team, a very cool team to play with. And actually some very good players that I had no idea even existed. Um, you know, if I never went in and went to went and played with this nation. Because these are, you know, they're kind of hard players to link up. But there are some phenomenal players that come from Israel. I mean, they are just absolutely awesome guys. And the 4-2-3-1 formation is just so dominant. And uh, I personally love it a lot. I believe it's probably come one of my most favorite formations. And I want to try to use it more, but I do I do prefer, you know, more faster paced cams up there um, because they're kind of wingers almost. I mean, they're just pushback wingers who can also play um, a little bit of a defense. But let's go ahead and get into the squad, guys. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I said it in yesterday's video. I said it in Monday's video. But thank you guys so much for everything. You don't even understand what it means to me. I mean, you guys, the support you guys have been offering me is just absolutely insane. Please keep it up. I mean, it has been awesome, and uh, I will definitely keep making videos for you guys. So, anyways, guys, moving on to the first center back. We do have Dekel Keenan, 57 pace, guys, 65 defense, and 69 heading. Now, there weren't too many options for center back when it does come to Israeli um, people in the game. So, the two center backs are fairly slow. But nonetheless, guys, they did play some decent defense for me. And uh, the right back and left back definitely picked up the slack a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, the defense was fairly good. And the goalie was absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, I wasn't able to go through him because I was kind of telling you guys, uh, you know, and thank you guys for all the support. But if you guys want to go back in the video, go ahead and check him out. He's very good. He actually plays in the League of BBVA, I do believe. Uh, so he's actually very, he's, he's just a very good keeper. And he makes some spectacular saves. So moving on, guys, to the right back. We do have Dormalul, Dormalul guys. 73 pace bronze right back from Beershot. Uh, absolutely love that name and that badge. Very cool. Um, you know, badge and name and uh, that type of stuff, but a very good player to say the least. I mean, he was very solid for me back there. The whole defense was pretty solid, even though um, it was it was fairly slow. I mean, 67 pace on this center back, Matan Oyai Oyan. I think that's how you pronounce his name, guys. Uh, but 62 defense as well and 62 heading, so not too bad for a bronze overall. And uh, he actually managed to score a goal for me. It wasn't actually a header. It was actually. Um, you know, a really nice shot that he actually got the rebound from uh, outside the box. So kind of really interesting how he did score his goal. But nonetheless, guys, a very cool goal for a center back. So moving on to the left back, guys, we do have, um, I believe it's Gershon. Um, yeah, Gershon, guys. But I don't know why this guy goes for so many coins. I mean, he doesn't go for that many coins. I mean, it's only 1,300. But I was actually able to sell him on for 1,500. Now, my thought process behind this is because he plays for Celtic. Uh, so he is a little bit more in demand than the other Israeli players. But he only has 63 pace as a left back. But he does have 69 defense and 69 heading, which is pretty decent uh, for, you know, a silver left back, especially being non-round. I mean, that's that's one of the most interesting parts about him um, is that he is very good. So moving on, guys, to probably one of the best players and one of the most underrated players in this game, guys. Best player on the team Baram Kayal he is phenomenal guys on Celtic I mean him and the left back get absolutely perfect chemistry with each other Grishon I believe so 80 pace guys 75 dribbling 58 shooting 74 defense 74 passing and 76 heading as you guys can see a very well-rounded card now I did choose to put him at CDM instead of Cam for a few reasons and it's mainly because his shot was not that great but I do think his shot actually in game uh, is much better than it does say on his card but nonetheless guys this guy's stats are just phenomenal three star weak skill uh, weak skills three star weak foot and three star skills can definitely get the job done and he is just a force to be reckoned with now moving on to his you know counterpart guys in the defensive midfield we do have Almog Cohen and uh, or Cohen however you guys want to pronounce it but 70 pace guys 68 dribbling 57 shooting 74 defense 69 passing and 72 heading once again another overall solid player and this guy was a great player to play with he was very fast very pacey and it actually had some very good long shots um, that I did execute with them unfortunately none of them were you know were able to go in but as you guys can see he has phenomenal shot power right there and it just went right past the goalie and was able to slot that goal in so moving on to the center forward guys we will get to the cams and the striker in due time but moving on to center forward guys we do have Elianiv Barda and uh, this guy six goals and six games what a performance by him uh very central role being the center forward right there being fed by the cdms the cams um and also he does feed the striker so 72 pace guys 73 dribbling 70 shooting which is very good on a card 47 defense 68 passing and 66 heading four star weak foot and three star skinless so a very good player and uh, he was just everywhere he was in the right place at the right time there you guys go you have a very nice view of how his weak foot was i mean just a phenomenal player once again shooting it off with his weak foot i mean having a four star weak foot on a silver player 
is, uh, you know, just something to be in awe about and very, very good. And this goal was epic, guys. That was a beautiful LBY ball into the box. Barta chested down and slots that one away. I mean... What a fantastic player to play with. And, uh, you know, him paired up with the two camps and then the striker as well. He also stole the ball away right here and got the nice little cheeky goal. Uh, but he was an excellent player for me. And uh, one of those players that when you buy in a squad and you buy a team, you just don't you don't expect them to be good, but when they do play well for you, you're pretty excited because, you know, you found you kind of found a little bit of a gem, and he does help the team along a lot. So, very good player out of Barta, and uh, he just, I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful moves right there, and uh, just a very overall solid player. I know I mentioned that a few times, but, um, you know, guys, I'm not lying. So, moving on to the cam, guys. We do have a little bit of a slower cam, but we do have Ben Ayun, the recently transferred man to Chelsea. Very proud to wear that badge. So, at 68 pace, guys, 81 dribbling, 71 shooting, 51 defense, 77 passing, and 60 heading four star weak foot guys and three star skill list. now i did have a little bit of uh you know i did have a little bit of trouble trying to decide whether to put him at cdm or at cam but he came as default cam so i decided just to go with that um so and i could have put kyle at cam depending on how you guys want to do it uh but you know ben Ayun did play a very nice cam but moving on to a guy who i did a hidden gem review on who is just absolutely He's absolutely excellent, guys. Mauer Melkison, or more Melkison, um, however you guys want to pronounce that. 89 pace, guys. 80 dribbling, 62 shooting, 44 defense, 68 passing, and 52 heading now. I did four-star weak foot, guys, and four-star skill moves also, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but I did kind of notice a difference in this card. It's not as good as his other card. I mean, he is just an overall very good player, but I also played his other card at center forward, um, I do believe, and not a camp position. So that could have been the difference uh, because the center forward role, I mean, you saw my center forward scored six goals for me, and that's much different different uh, than two goals uh, scored by Melixson. So that is a little bit different, but he's a little more expensive now simply due to the fact he is now in League One. He did get a transfer card, um, so that is why he is a little more expensive. So that's okay, guys, but I mean, 2,100 coins is definitely in most of your budgets, or I would presume. So moving on, guys, to the last and final player. We do have Ben Sahar, a phenomenal player, a very good player. I was also pleased with him. 83 pace, guys, 75 dribbling, 67 shooting, 35 defense, 54 passing, and 63 heading. Three-star weak foot and three-star skills, but seven goals in six games. Who can argue with that type of production out of your striker? He is a phenomenal player, and the first goal that we score with him is an absolute screamer, guys. That is the first goal that I actually scored this squad, and I kind of just put my control down. I'm like... You know what, guys? Well, this is going to be a good squad builder, and that it was definitely, guys. It was really fun playing with the Israeli team. I mean, Sahar was absolutely amazing up top. Barta scored six goals in six games, so uh, what more could you ask of him? I mean, look at, look at you know, he's just fighting for the ball. Sahar wants the goals. I mean, that is just how he is kind of bred. 4-2-3-1 um, was a perfect formation for this team. I really wanted to incorporate Melixson in there. I mean, if I could get Melixson at a striker, that would be an absolutely phenomenal that would be an absolutely excellent thing to kind of get in there because he's just such a good player. Uh, but Sahar was absolutely amazing as well. I might actually try to use him in, uh, you know, a few other teams. He was kind of tall, kind of, you know, pretty pacey at 83 pace, and his shot was just absolutely excellent. So very good player, guys. Very good attacking force. And uh, I do believe we have one more goal, but look at the strength on this man. Just what a beast. Uh, but th hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Underrated Nations. We're coming at you with a bunch of them this week. I believe the next one we're going to be doing is is uh, Nigeria, guys. So be on the lookout for that. That should be coming out on Friday. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys do leave a like. We're going to try to hit 150 likes again because you guys, you know, I keep asking you guys for likes and uh, trying to reach milestones and you guys just absolutely crush it and you guys have been phenomenal. So thank you so much. I definitely do appreciate it. So look out for the Nigerian squad on Friday and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Thank you guys for watching once again. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. But until next time, guys, this has been Russo and have a good one.